Hello, my beautiful twins, my beautiful Geminis. Brenda Tarot readings here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of October the 31st to November the 6th, 2022. This is a general, and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Gemini, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Welcome to my channel here on YouTube, or if you're listening to me on Spotify on my podcast. Okay, let's see what we have here. Starting off with your first of three energy cards, you do have the card Casket. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. So pretty clear and concise. You could have completed something. Maybe you've been going through a situation in your life. Maybe you've ended a contract or some sort of business uh, contract with uh, with your work and in your career. Uh, you've, it's come to a conclusion and it's ended. Or it could be a situation in your life that has to do with a relationship, a friendship, uh, something like that that may have ended as well. You know, this means that somebody is going out of your life. And, you know, sometimes we need to realize that all friendships or relationships sometimes have a life expectancy. And that means they wear out uh, their, their, their given time with us. And for many reasons, something may have ended in your life. But I never look at this as a bad card. I look at this as a positive card of being able to know we learn from those situations and we move on to the next. And we, we send it out into the universe with forgiveness and we allow ourselves to move forward in our new direction on our personal journey. Coming in next, you have the ear. And this says good news is on its way. So keep your eyes open and keep your ear to the ground, as they say. Some of you may hear a message coming in. Maybe you're going to get a phone call or perhaps somebody's going to leave you a voice message. But it also means that you could be receiving some information in written dialogue as well. So keep your eyes open and your mind open and get ready to receive some good news. Perhaps you put out a proposal at work or you've applied for a job or uh, anything. There could be anything coming in. So for whoever this message is for, there's good news on its way. Now you've got the valley card next and this says deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Uh, so, you know, this is all about the trials and tribulations that you, you're going through and what you've had to invest your time into going towards a certain situation, a goal or a phase in your life. And now you're at that point where you can settle in. You're not having to climb any more of these mountains. You're not having to, to struggle as hard anymore. And you're going to feel at peace and know that you have this ability now to pretty much pick and choose uh, balancing your emotions out for what you want and going and being able to successfully go after it. So this is a great way to start your readings off. Now, moving along to our tarot messages, you've got the beautiful Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords. So there was some struggle here working towards something. But as I had said, you know that nothing ventured, nothing gained. And you have to realize that sometimes we have to build up our strength to stand up, be courageous and stand up for our convictions. And to realize that sometimes if we overdo that, we could end up and set ourselves up for a no-win situation. But... If you pick your battles wisely, you plan it out, you, you know the risks and the consequences that can occur through this, you will come out ahead of the game. Now, some people read this as disappointments, things don't turn out in your favor, or this is a no-win situation. But when we go into battle mode, we have to weigh those options. Is it worth the t our struggle? Well, for some of you, perhaps you had to do this. You had to tap into your strength. You had to stand up for yourself. You had to do what was important. And you had to let go of someone. Remember the casket card came in. Someone is going out of your life. You may have had to let someone go. Release them. And at the end of the day, the, the wheel karmically turns in your favor. The wheel of fortune is all about good luck, good fortune. And, you know, receiving this energy coming in towards you. The balancing of this. The turning of time and the turning of karma. So I do think some of you have concluded something and now you're taking something to the next phase. This is beginnings of new beginnings again, but new beginnings in the right direction. Happiness is coming into you and this is all about good news as we had said earlier. Your next cards coming in is beautiful Ace of Pentacles and now we have the Ten. So definitely this karma that's coming in towards you is happiness and harmony within partnerships, whether it's in a, a, a romantic uh, partnership 
or in a marriage or whether it's in partnership in business, definitely there's going to be some harmony restored. Also, there's going to be enough finances. I do think you're going to find stability and you're going to find a good foundation here where you feel secure in your financial part of your life. You could be getting an offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. And it's always good news when the Ace of Pentacles shows up because it definitely means get ready uh, to receive some abundance coming your way. And it could be in the form of uh, lucrative finances uh, in your career, uh, getting a promotion or maybe a salary increase. And often this refers to even unexpected money you're going to be receiving. So maybe you're going to be receiving uh, a bonus that you didn't know you were going to get. Maybe somebody's rewarding you with something here. You're getting paid for something that you didn't think you would. Uh, it could be an inheritance as well. But it's definitely a great windfall for you. Now, if you're starting your own business, this is a very good time. As we know, timing is of the essence. And this will be a good time for you to build a new foundation of prosperity for yourself. So you're likely to succeed if you're thinking on the, that level of opening your own business. Now, often when that's considered that you have to think about legal documents and contracts or correspondence that maybe you will be uh, having to entertain and having to sign. Read between the lines. As you know, I always say be uh, conscientious about that. You could also be helping yourself and leveling up and amping up your resume so that you push yourself up into that next lucrative tax bracket in your income and that means earning a degree getting a credit something that you can add to your resume this is about being able to have this finances now to buy significant purchases about excellent luck my beautiful friends it's all coming in now in the center position here another beautiful ten twice you've got the ten of pentacles and you've got the empress twice in this reading so definitely I think you, you're doing the planning. You realize what it is you want and you're going for those goals. Stepping up, getting everything that you need to get, knowing that you, if you want this life of abundance and prosperity, you are putting in the work and the effort to get it. Staying open-minded, applying your energy to something and going after it. So don't be afraid to do that. Uh, definitely there's going to be prosperity coming in to the financial part of your life beautiful next you have the ace of wands opportunity and the queen of cups it's time for you and i think you've realized that you've been give give giving to everybody else in the universe but you truly love to do that because you have this natural instinct of wanting to heal and to uh to to nurture other people around you she is the ultimate feminine mother but there comes a time where you can stretch yourself too thin and then you may, be, may become tired and worn out and often resentful. So it's time for you to do for you, my beautiful Geminis. Pull back. You're giving, giving, giving to everybody out there. And now it's your time to say, what do I want? What do I need to do to put myself in that place of peace and harmony and, and feel fulfilled? This is about you taking care of yourself here. Now, some of you may have had to take care of needs for your family members, close friends, and you've done it wholeheartedly and out of the goodness of your heart. But now this is time for you to take care of your needs. Perhaps you're feeling a little under the weather, a little tired, a little exhausted, or maybe even a little bit uh, put out by resentment because people may be expecting too much of you all the time. New opportunities are going to present themselves, though. You have the beautiful Ace of Wands, and that's all about stepping forward and going towards your goals here and making sure that you have what you want by doing so so the universe steps up at that perfect time and says guess what here's a wonderful exciting opportunity for you to open up to it could be something creative and inspiring in your career uh, that's coming into view and i need to know uh or the need to know what you need to do and that means go for it sorry a slip of the tongue now you could be, again, this is indicative of starting a new business, the beginning of a new business, or maybe you're changing things up within the existing business, adding some extra things to it. Uh, the, maybe the process that you're doing your business, how you're conducting it. Uh, definitely, this is a good idea. Some of you, maybe by doing that, you could be also being getting, getting recognized and being approached by others, uh, the powers that beat, and being offered a job or a promotion. 
Anyway, this is all about uh, a fresh start for you and going and doing what's right for you. And I think you've taken time about that when it comes to your career. What's going to work for you? Uh, what are the changes you need to make that's going to bring you the satisfaction and also the lucrative success that you so are seeking with the time and effort you're applying to your business. Now, the Empress comes in again twice, all about giving birth to your dreams, knowing that you're setting yourself up, and you have this ability to pretty much uh, do what you want. The universe is sending you signs that says, keep your eyes open to all the opportunities that could be coming in, even if they're different from what you may have perceived that you would be interested in. You're, you're, and as you go through this process, the changes that you're making with the Queen of Swords and the Empress together is that you're going to be removing things that aren't working and adding things that will. She's, you know, she goes out there, she has the ability to have the insight to view the whole picture from a wider perspective and says, you know what, I'm not dragging this dead weight anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to bring things into my circle that isn't going to serve me and help me to be promoted in a successful and harmonious, peaceful direction. So cutting things out, letting things go, going out there on your own, showing the powers that be who you are and that you're capable of being independent and, and confident as you move towards these beautiful new goals this week. Well, Gemini, beautiful reading, you know, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles twice and going after what you want with this Empress card. You've got good news coming in here. You're going to see some peace and harmony, and but it's going to require letting go of certain things or ways of doing things in the past. I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Geminis, and always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. Hope you have a great positive week, and I'll see you soon.